All right, guys. So um, there's a new ad that was just released by the NRSC. This is, a, you know, the Republican group and National Republican Senatorial Committee. I'm something like that. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. Maserati Mansion is the name of the ad. And it's really interesting how they go after him. I want to watch it. Then I have a lot to say about it. Italian sports car, luxury yacht, more than $1 million spent on fine dining. Life's very good for Democrat Joe Manchin. While West Virginians get stuck with higher prices, smaller paychecks, and open borders. Democrat Joe Manchin and his... <laughs> open borders? <laughs> West Virginia has open borders. Like, what does that even mean? First of all, there is no open border at the southern border. Joe Biden has continued a lot of Trump's policies. He's deported a, a, a lot of people. There's criticisms from his left on the border because he's not he's not an open borders guy. He's nowhere near it. But they threw in open borders when talking about West Virginia. I can't. All right, run that back just a touch. Fine dining. Life's very good for Democrat Joe Manchin. While West Virginians get stuck with higher prices, smaller paychecks, and open borders. Democrat Joe Manchin and his Washington pals are living it up. And West Virginians are getting left in the dust. Tell Maserati Manchin it's time to stand up for West Virginia values. Maserati Man Mansion, I do like, that does have a ring to it, doesn't it? That does have a ring to it. Now, look, the obvious point to make here is, this is an ad by the Republicans against Mansion, And so they're trying to say, like, he's an elitist, he's out of touch, you know, he's, uh, he's wealthy, and he's not looking out for you. Now, it's true he's not looking out for the average West Virginian, but... Any Republican who would take Manchin's place would objectively be worse. They would be looking out for working class West Virginians even less than Joe Manchin is. And Joe Manchin's not looking out for them at all, right? I mean, Joe Manchin is the reason that we had um, Build Back Better whittled down and destroyed, and we on only ended up getting the Inflation Reduction Act. If it wasn't for Manchin and if it wasn't for cinema, we'd have a Medicare expansion that covers people you know, kicking in at age 55, that would have been huge. We'd have lower prescription drug prices for everybody in the country, not just certain drugs and only for senior citizens. We'd have um, we'd have $15 minimum wage in, in the entire country. To be fair, it was like seven or eight Democratic senators who were against it, including Manchin and Cinema. So it's not it's not just him for that one. But like the list of the stuff that was in Build Back Better that was phenomenal stuff, and these guys whittled it down. And... um. So I think it's I think an attack like this is fair, but it's just hilarious that it's coming from the right, because, again, anybody to his right would be even worse and would serve the wealthy more and would serve working class Virginians even less. Let's watch it one more time. Italian sports car, luxury yacht, more than one million dollars. That see, that's crazy. He's got a luxury yacht and an Italian sports car. And he likes to say, I'm a West Virginia Democrat. I'm not a D.C. Democrat. No, you are uh, an elitist ghoul is what you are. Democrat Joe Manchin has spent $1 million in campaign dollars on fine dining. Jesus. ...spent on fine dining. Life's very good for Democrat Joe Manchin. While West Virginians get stuck with higher prices, smaller paychecks, and open borders. Democrat Joe Manchin and his Washington pals are living it up. And West Virginians are getting left in the dust. Tell Maserati Manchin it's time to stand up for West Virginia values. So I think what's going to happen, guys, is uh, Jim Justice is going to run against Manchin. Jim Justice is the governor of West Virginia. He's a, he's a big old boy, Jim Justice is. And he used to be a Democrat. He became a Republican. And um, he's huge in West Virginia. He's one of the wealthiest people in West Virginia. And he's light there. Now, Manchin somehow has held on in West Virginia for a long time now. But I think if Justice runs against him, man, Ju Jim Justice would have a good, good chance to beat Joe Manchin. So... This is the problem, right? Like, the problem is Joe Manchin thinks when he votes 50% of the time with Trump and the Republicans, he thinks like, oh, I'm being politically savvy and intelligent, and so I'm making it so that these people can't attack me, right? Because I half agree with them. He, he literally is like the meme of the enlightened centrist. Like, I'm half with Democrats, I'm half with Republicans. Now, of course, the Overton window is all screwed up in Washington, D.C., so that just means he's, like, one of the most corrupt, right? But he thinks if I vote 50% of the time with Republicans, this might, you know, might save me from their ire. They might not do attack ads against me. They might not run against me. They might sort of try to court me and bring me to their side. No, Joe, they're always going to hate you. 
they're going to treat you just like your AOC. They're going to treat you like your Bernie Sanders because there's a D by your name. And so this is why if they're going to attack him like this, why wouldn't why shouldn't we have it would be so much better if like Richard Ojeda was the senator from from West Virginia. Right. Because then you have somebody who's actually a populist. He's actually economically on the left. He would have actually delivered for the people of West Virginia. Because if the Republicans are going to attack you anyway, even if you give them half of what they want, it's like, well, why are you giving them any of what they want? And we know that answer when it comes to Manchin. The reason why he gives them what they want is because he's corrupt, is because he's bought by Big Pharma, is because he's bought by the oil and natural gas companies, is because he takes money from big money from the banks, big money from the military industrial complex. And so that's why he consistently votes with the establishment. So I have to say, man. It's kind of devastating how effective this ad is, too, because it's true. Like, the ad is true. It's just that what they don't tell you is whoever they're running this on behalf of, whatever Republican ghoul they're pushing over Manchin, guaranteed he'd be worse. Like, for example, again, Manchin voted for lowering prescription drug prices for some seniors, right? The Republican would not even vote for that. <laughs> They'd be like, let's lower no drug prices. So, <laughs> oh, man. But I can tell when an ad is effective, and what I, what I need to tell you guys is, look out, Manchin's in trouble, man. That's I think that's clear. All right, y'all, that's the show. I love you very much. Uh, thanks so much for listening to me babble. Everybody do me a favor, like the video, subscribe to the channel, click that little bell icon so you get a notification every single time a new video drops. Shout out to everybody who supports the show on Patreon. You guys make it work. Shout out to everybody who supports Crystal Kyle and friends on Substack. You guys make it work. I love you very much, and I'll talk to all you guys soon. Peace. Ever since Adpocalypse, when YouTube defunded all independent news and politics overnight, we haven't trusted them. We know they can pull the rug out from underneath us at any time. If you enjoy this content, please consider tipping a dollar or two per month on the Secular Talk Patreon. Link in the video description box below. Thanks for your support.